San Diego Gas and Electric says the typical residential customer uses about 500 kilowatts of energy per month. Now, the more energy you use, the higher your rate increase will be. Here to explain the rate hike is SDG&E's Senior Vice President, Lee Chavron. Lee, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. How many customers are going to be affected by this rate hike and, and which one's the most? Sure. Um, come September 1, uh, the commission ordered that's when the rate hike should, should go in. And about 75% of our customers will see very little. And about 25% or 325,000 customers will see a material increase in their bills. So everybody will see a little bit, but that 25% that's going to see a significant, um, what is it about their bills that's going to cause a, a higher rate? Well, unfortunately, we have a rate system in California that was set by the legislature during the energy crisis, and it's still in place today, and it's broken. And so the more you use exponentially, the more you pay. Okay, so it's based. Yeah, so, okay, let's talk about that. So if you're the average consumer using about 500 kilowatts per month, how much might you see in your bill? You might see your bill go up about $15 a month, but if you're a 1,000 kilowatt hours, you may see your bill as much as $75 a month go up. Are any businesses, is this sort of across the board or is it residents right now? No, that, those are the residentials, but all of our customers, including um, small businesses and large businesses, will pay their proportionate share of this uh, increase. Okay, and how come the prices are going up? Sure. Well, the commission has a proceeding once every four years, and it looked at what does it cost to supply safe and reliable services, just for the pipes and wires, not for the commodity. And because we have new environmental laws, and permits and also um, all of our uh, reliability of our system, automatic redirection of energy when a circuit goes down, those costs have gone up plus some inflation. Um, is any of this a rate increase, and I have to ask this because of the San Onofre, we understand there might be some of that coming down the uh, pipeline. Well, the answer is no. That is a separate proceeding that's currently pending before the Public Utilities Commission. This is for the non-commodity or non-San -San Onofre costs. And I know you just touched on this, but remind us again where this money, the, the extra money is going to be spent or where it's headed to? Sure. Where this money goes for is for providing new service to customers, um, all the new environmental laws that were put in place by California, uh, as well as higher permit fees that are required by all the cities, as well as new technology so that we can redirect energy uh, when there are outages on one circuit, they can re be redirected automatically to another circuit so that the customers see no impact. In, um Speaking of the customers, is there a reward system as part of this uh, as part of this rate hike? Like if you can serve more than you were spending before or using before, do you get an extra break? For a customer, if a customer uses less energy, they will not pay as much as they otherwise would. But if they get into the lower tiers, they'll pay a lower rate for those uh, those energy kilowatt hours that they do use. That's right. Okay, so the four-tier system, if you could just briefly touch on that, what the where most people land and what the four tiers sure. are. Um, tier one and two um, is where most of our customers fall in, and, and they've got rates of about almost 15 cents a kilowatt hour and 17 cents. But if you're in tier three, now you're at 26 cents a kilowatt hour. And if you're in tier four, the high users, you are at approximately 29 cents a kilowatt hour. Okay, so based on um, the, the usage again with that. Um, I know some energy is sold to other states, Arizona and Tijuana. Are those customers also going to be impacted by this rate hike? Well, first, the energy is provided to them, but that is on a wholesale, and it has no effect uh, from this proceeding. Okay. And you had talked about earlier that the, that the system is based on sort of the, the calculation, this energy crisis back in the 70s. What is SDG&E doing? Would you like to see that change on how these things are calculated? Sure. First, it's the energy crisis from 2000. Oh, 2000. All right. 2000. Not quite as bad <laughs> as far as the far. 70s. Uh, that was a whole different absolutely. one. Absolutely. And SDG&E has been in the forefront um, at the legislature and at the PUC to change the rate structure. Assembly Bill 327 is move, has moved through the Assembly and is now on the Senate side of the House. Uh, and we hope that it passes there that will give the PUC the ability to change rates, to charge customers what it really costs to serve them. No more, no less. And so we'll hear about that. When do you think that might be voted well, on? Well, if it will go to the Senate floor probably, if it gets out of the Appropriations Committee, probably in early September. 
Okay. Uh, and then it will be on the governor's desk to sign. Okay, SD Genies, Lee Chevron, thanks so much for the update. Oh, you're welcome.